Mercedes-Benz heeft een bijeenkomst georganiseerd onder de naam Campus Connectivity. En uh, daar gaan ze alles uitleggen over connectivity, over uh, trucks die met elkaar verbonden zijn. Nou kennen we dat natuurlijk al een beetje van Mercedes, want die hebben de autonome trucks, uh, die we wel eens vaker hebben gezien. Maar ze gaan nu nog een stapje verder en uh, dat gaat Mercedes zometeen zelf laten zien. Maar ik ga, kan het ook even in de cabine laten zien. Loop maar even mee. Gaan we hier naar binnen natuurlijk. Hoge cabine. Even klimmen. En nou zitten we achter het stuur. En uh, ja, dat ziet er eigenlijk net zo uit als altijd. Maar hier naast het stuur, in het dashboard, zitten twee knopjes. Dat zijn... Uh, even kijken of het goed in beeld kan brengen. Ja. Kijk, Mercedes heeft natuurlijk het uh, autonome rijden. Dat noemen ze de Highway Pilot. Dat knopje, dat zit hier. Maar wat je ook kan doen, en uh, dat uh, gaat Mercedes zo laten zien in de demonstratie, is platoenen. Dat kan met dat knopje. Dus dan kan je autonoom rijden, dus met de handen los van het stuur, en je rijdt in een rijtje. Dus uh, nou, dat gaat Mercedes nu laten zien, dus uh, laat me komen met die demo. Het start met twee magic buttons. De blue button to activate the highway pilot, and that means semi-autonomous driving. And a light blue one to activate Highway Pilot Connect. So, dear colleagues, please press them now. All right, on, Sven. So, ladies and gentlemen, right now, our trucks run a system check. For example, if all sensors and cameras are on, if the speed and position of our trucks are correct, and if other platoonable trucks are available in some close distance. If so, the driver in truck one, the lead truck, gets the information, Highway Pilot Connect is available. He then has to confirm, yes, Highway Pilot Connect may take over. So driver one, Hans, did you get this information already? Got it. Now I allow the system to take over. Okay, see, the driver takes his hands off the wheel, looks kind of familiar already. So truck number one now is in semi-autonomous mode, and it allows other trucks to connect to it. Now the driver in truck number two gets the same information. Highway Pilot, pilot Connect is available. So driver two, Michael. Yes, got the info, and I let the system take over. All right, so driver three, Bernard, it's your turn. Is Highway Pilot Connect available for you as well? Yes, and I confirm that the connection can be established. All right, so two things just happened. First, special lights went on, yellow lights on top of the truck, and the trailer tell other motorists this is a platoon. And secondly, the truck started to build the platoon. They do so by getting much closer to each other. Now that they are on autopilot, they can dramatically reduce the distance. They can reduce it to 15 meters, whereas the usual distance is 50 meters. This has important advantages. It improves aerodynamics. Fuel consumption and greenhouse gas emissions are reduced by up to 7% for the entire platoon. And that's a lot. Another benefit, a platoon needs much less space. This one with three trucks needs 80 meters instead of 150. And this means platoons make much better use of our infrastructure. The Autobahn can accommodate more vehicles. So far, so good. Now, someone may ask, what if passenger cars mingle with the platoon? What if a passenger car wants to move through it? Is that possible at all? And here, seeing is believing. So let's have a look at the main screen again. There's a passenger car on the left lane. This passenger car now wants to take the new next exit. It wants to leave the autobahn. 
So it starts to indicate and tries to get in between truck two and truck three. And what happens? As the car gets close, truck three recognizes it, and as the truck recognizes the car, it increases the distance to truck number two. The distance gets big enough, the car can move through the platoon without any problem. And the truck can do this without leaving the platoon. So once the car has disappeared, the truck just has to narrow the gap again, and on they go. The entire maneuver was done on autopilot. It was all done by Highway Pilot Connect. The drivers did not have to interfere at all. They could sit back and relax. So let's double check. Driver three, did you enjoy the show? Absolutely, Sven. It's fun. We see us later. <laughs> I bet. So next task for our platoon. Our trucks are approaching a highway junction. And at the junction, the authorities want us to increase the distance between the trucks. So that's exactly what they are doing. See, the distance grows to 50 meters without the drivers interfering. You might ask yourself, how did the trucks know they had to open up? Well, it's quite easy. They know their position all the time. They know when a junction is ahead, all thanks to GPS and digital maps in the vehicle. And let me add, soon after the junction, the trucks will narrow the distance again. So far, everything was done on autopilot, or to, be, or to be precise, on Highway Pilot Connect. Still, sometimes our drivers are back in charge, and the trucks tell them so. This might be the case, for example, when the road marking is fragmented, and the trucks cannot find its way anymore by using its radar. And this might also be the case when the truck is blinded by snow, heavy rains, or by dirt. In a nutshell, whenever the truck cannot do its work 100% precise, it asks the driver to take over. And that's also the case when our platoon has to change lanes. We'll show you that right away as we reach another section of the A52. Here the platoon has to change from the middle to the right lane. This has to be done manually, as the truck cannot monitor its back. Sensor technology is not ready for that yet. So let's watch it on the screens. Hans just set his right indicator. Straight away, the drivers in truck two and truck three get an information on their display. A lane change is required. Please take over the steering wheel. And once the trucks are on the target lane, the drivers can let the system take over again. And that's exactly what happens. Our drivers switch off the turn signal, take their hands off the steering wheel, and Highway Pilot Connect takes over again. OK, now there's only one thing left we'd like to show you. The last trick is, surprise, dissolving the platoon and switching back to manual mode. So let's do this, starting with truck number three. Our driver deactivates the highway pilot, and immediately he gets the info on his display. We are decoupling. The truck automatically enlarges the distance to the truck in front of him, and then the driver is asked to take over the steering wheel, and now he has left the platoon. The same happens now in truck number two. Michael, did you deactivate the highway pilot? Yes, Sven, we are decoupling. Well, see, the distance grows bigger. Now Michael has his hands back on the steering wheel, leaving the platoon. And all the trucks are traveling on their own again. All right, guys, you're in control again. Thank you all very much. Great job. Well done.